Just a quick teaser, here we go. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Here we go again, alright. Uh, yep, yep, no, no, I'm so terrible at this freaking game. This is Breakout, and this is the teaser that we are going to build for our new tutorial. And can I? No, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm not very good at the game, but at least we can try and build it, and we can publish it. What's up guys, welcome back. This is going to be our Unity 3D tutorial from start to finish. So basically I'm going to show you how to download Unity, download all the necessary stuff like Audio City and all that type of stuff so you can record your voice and make sound effects into the game. And then I'm going to show you how to publish it right at the end. So yeah, definitely stick around. This is going to be the first episode where I'm just going to quickly show show off how to download Unity and then I'll just give you a quick preview of the game basically, like a teaser. So open up your browser, whichever one that is, and just type in Unity oh, Yeah, there we go, Unity 3D.com. Let's take you to Unity. Click on that one. Try not to click on the ads. Go get Unity now. And whatever system you're running, make sure you grab the right one. Um, we want to grab the free. So the fr Unity is really good. Like it allows you a heap of stuff, like a revenue ca uh, capacity. If you make a game and you actually start making money, you don't have to pay Unity until you start receiving over a hundred thousand dollars annually from that game then you have to upgrade <laughs> upgrade to $35 per month so you can get that cap and then if you make even more than that if you get lucky enough to make more than that then you can go after the next one but yeah so but unity um unity free is excellent it's a great great little uh game engine that you can use to you know learn how to pro uh actually program and just make some very basic games so scroll down to the bottom and click the download now and then just install make sure it's the right thing so unity is pretty good it will install it on all types of their install is really good it'll just install it for that but if you are using mac you can just click that so download the installer and you should just get this and just click save file very basic stuff click the open exe sometimes my mouse doesn't really want to just uh, you know work with me it's really weird I don't know what's happening at the moment oh there we go oh no my windows smart screen can't be ripped reached interesting let's just click run anyway if that pops up you'll get a uh, administration thing just say yes and then we get the download so you go next it's going to review the license I do not know why it is taking so long interesting just accept the terms you can read through it if you want, but it's just explaining mainly about that, um, the pricing, like I was just saying. Um, pick which one you are running on. If you're running on a 32-bit, I would definitely recommend you go to 64-bit, though, because 64-bit is a fair bit better. And then, now we got the click, the, the extras. So, you want to get the unity you want to get the documentation you don't necessarily need the standard assets I'm gonna get the Microsoft Visual Studios for tools for unity because I like to use Microsoft Visual Studios I will be using um, mono develop though in this tutorial if you're if you want to build to Mac make sure you click that if you want to build to Apple click that um, if you want to build Samsung and all these type of ones, just make sure you click those. I'm going to be building mainly to Android, the uh, Google Play Store, so in this tutorial anyway. So I will be clicking that. And I'm going to take off the standard assets because I don't need that. And you can t see that it's going to take 2.4 gigabytes to install. 
just uh, pick where you want to install Unity. I do not want to install it there. I want to install it on my... Where the hell is it? My H drive. There it is. On my H drive. And I've already got it. Because I used to have Unity, so... It has deleted anyway, so I might as well just make a new one and call it Unity Engine. Alright, just start the installer and I will get back to you once it's done. And we're back, so it has finished installing. Just click the finish button and we should open up a new thing. It will say allow access. It will ask for your network permission, just allow access, and then it will open up this. Um, I've already got one of the projects, it was just my trial project, but I'll show you that later. For now, we're going to need to make a new account, so you go create a Unity ID, just on the same page, unity3d.com, and just create. And then... Just follow the prompts, it's very simple. Just email, password, username, and full name. Select like country, click uh, which the musical note it's asking me at the moment, but it will be different when you see it. Click the agree. If you want to get some Unity news, discounts, and more, click that. It's up to you, doesn't really matter. Uh, once you click create Unity identity, it will pretty sure it will go to another page and then you just fill out a couple more details nothing nothing really serious just a couple of details and we'll go to audio audio city and just go into this this is our sound recorder that we're going to be using for some sound effects just click download and I'm, I'm on Windows, so I would click this one. If you're on Mac or Linux, click click your respected ones. So, yep, this is just for Windows. And then once you click it, it'll take you to this. Click the installer. It's the most easiest. If you know what you're doing, go, go for the zip file. It's a lot quicker, but it doesn't really matter. The installer is pretty easy. So just click that. I'm not going to do this one because it's very basic and just next, 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 and then finish. And then you should have both of them done. And then we are into this. So we can just go to or sign out. And then the new account that I made for this tutorial. We'll sign in. And done. Once you signed in. I'm not too sure why it disappeared, but it did. So be it. Just open it again. But either way, that will conclude this episode that has just showed us how to install Unity, what assets we actually need, and creating a um, a new uh, profile, a new account. Yeah, I'm not too sure if you need an account, but I always make an account because you can save some of your stuff to the cloud. I'm fairly sure you can with uh, free. You definitely check it out. Um, either way, I always save my, my projects to Dropbox and whatnot, which I will also be showing you guys because um, it's always good to back up in case anything happens, like you, you change something and you mess the whole program up, you can always back up to a previous save. So we have Audio City and Unity. So those are the two things that we're going to need to really get into this. Um, I'm not going to be doing any models or textures through this tutorial. I will just be using Unity basic materials for the whole for the whole project because I don't want to go into modeling and that I'm not the best modeler and yeah. All right. Have a good one. Um, definitely like, subscribe and comment if you have any comments, any anything you need help with, comment, comment, comment. I will always reply back to you guys. So Alright, have a good one and I'll see you soon in part two.